beautiful sunny morning and the city of Sales is putting on a show. The old with the new. In the shadow of the Queen Mary, one of the world's most modern ships, the Soren Larsen, sets sail. And on the tall ship, 98 feet above sea level, is Maho no Bodhisaka. As second mate on this 19th century square rigger, climbing the rigging is not only part of her job, but a favourite pastime of hers. I don't say I'm not scared because it's better to be a bit scared always, but it's, it's too good not to go up. Yeah. yeah, so I don't. Yeah, it's just a more excitement than the fear, I would say. See, totally different view from on deck. Like, you can see miles, miles away. It's really windy. You see, the pattern on the water is, is quite unusual. Today, the Soren Lassen is out on a day sail, which may sound like a relaxing way to spend a Sunday, but for Maho, it's quite the opposite. There's an ideal breeze, so it's time to turn off the motor and set sail. So, we're going to set the mainsail, and then we need a lot of people, but now I'm just preparing to take the lashings off. So we're going to hoist the gaff up. Maho has been sailing on the Soren Lassen since 2007. She first came on board as a volunteer. The ship's owner, Steve, was so impressed with her, he offered her work on board full-time as a deckhand. And she's, she never waits to be asked or to be told to do something. She's always one step ahead, you know? She's like one of those little, uh, little battery-operated animals that keep going and going and going after all the other batteries have stopped. <laughs> OK, if you come this side with him, yep. So he gonna Soon being deckhand wasn't enough for Maho. As after three, four years being deckhand, scraping pots or house, and I think I should get some qualification. <laughs> she decided to sit the International Yacht Master exam, qualifying her to be a first mate. This year there was an opening as second mate on the Soren Lassen, and Maho was promoted. Maho's remarkable in lots of ways, uh, but as it happens, yes, she is the uh, uh, first Asian uh, crew person that we've had on board, and certainly one that's then sort of risen through the ranks over three or four seasons to be one of the mates on board, and yeah, that's great. Maho began sailing as a child in Japan, but found the older she got, the harder it was to pursue her passion. <laughs> when I was small, my dad was sailing on yachts and he took me before I start walking. <laughs> yeah. Um, once once you grow up and start get into the sailing hobby, um, the old men which can afford boat at a time is not really sure how to use girls, like how to shout on girls. So I was told, yeah if you wanna learn more you should out of Japan. Like, yeah, I, was, I need to go out and see the world. As you know, in Japanese society, women are very subservient, and uh, she's definitely not that. Um, but as far as Japanese people uh, on tall ships, sailing on tall ships and progressing through the ranks and taking their professional exams and becoming qualified navigators, I think she's absolutely unique. Maho's smaller than a lot of the other crew, but this doesn't stop her from doing anything. I got muscle, but still not able to do the same as Mitch, <laughs> a big deckhand. Amazingly, you can, a little bit, a bit tough. The Soren Larsen is best known for the role it played in the BBC series, The Oneidan Line. It circumnavigated the world twice, but now calls New Zealand home. In the summer months, it takes passengers around Auckland or for longer sails to the Bay of Islands. While some guests relax and enjoy the ride, most are quite willingly roped in to helping out the crew. And what the ship does is provide experiences for people who've never sailed before, don't do yachts, certainly never been on a tall ship. And so um, they need a bit of care and encouragement. Maho's brilliant at doing that. Two, six. Two, six. She knows how to 
how to bark orders pretty well. I can imagine what she's like on shore. She's like what she's on, on the ship. Uh, we're here with our kids, an eight and a ten-year-old, and they've been very good about getting them involved too. Yes, I got I got bullied into it in the nicest possible way imaginable. But yes, I have a, I have a blister, so I feel all manly and proud. <laughs> he's away. Yeah, he's away. He's away. I like teaching, so because I want to see people do something, and afterwards, like, oh, you know, like, oh, I did it. You know, just like that impression on their face, faces, that makes me feel good. So that's why I want to get involved with people as much as we can. But in the looking after the limitation of each person, and like a little by little more. Maho's bubbly and hardworking nature caught the eye of the ship's captain. It impressed him so much he proposed last year, and they were married both in Japan and Matt's home in Scotland's remote Shetland Islands. She was on board before I came, so she was deckhand. She sort of worked her way up. But um, although I'm captain, I'm fast becoming known as Maho's husband. <laughs> That's sort of the way it's going. The Soren Larsen has gained a reputation as the love boat. Matt and Maho are not the first crew members to get married, but Maho is quick to dismiss the idea that sailing through the Pacific Ocean is romantic. Uh, but to be honest, not that romantic, <laughs> because what you do is getting wet and then cleaning toilets and scraping, sanding, covered with dust. It's not romantic. You can't show the you know, best of your part to somebody who you like, yeah. so uh, it's just a give up to be, pretend you are you know, good, it's just that you can't hide anything, but that's the best part, to know each other and then you trust. But living and working on board with 11 other crew is not always easy. <laughs> um, it's good, it's a little bit difficult at times because uh, You've got to be professional, so you've got to remember you're working nearly all the time you're here, so living on board with Maho is, is, is good. Um, you're always surrounded by people though, so sometimes it's difficult to get time just for, just for the two of us. Despite the difficulties, the ship has become like home to them, the crew like family. This is Captain's cabin, but I'm living with him. So here you go. The biggest cabin in the ship. However, one day they plan to make their own home on their own ship. We're gonna, me and Matt, want to do some long sailing just for um, not the business, but from Shetland to Japan and Japan to Shetland. So that's quite achieved. You, you have to be very um, responsible and then skillful. So, yeah, in the future, we'd love to do that. But in the meantime, Maho's happy to be setting sail with the Soren Larsen for its winter voyage through Polynesia and Melanesia. On the ship, yeah. full of laughing and smiles and fun. But once you start doing it, it's just a great thing to be positive all the time. And quite unusual, but good life. That's it from us this week on Asia Down Under. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget, you can watch us again on the TVNZ website or on YouTube. See you next week at the same time. Funding from New Zealand on air.